welcome to a crossplay predictions podcast for WWE No Mercy. My name is Nicky James, sitting here alongside Peps. It is Peps. <laughs> he is thrilled to be here tonight. Let's get right into this. Let's make this quick. Going over the match card for WWE No Mercy, we have Elias versus Apollo Crews on the pre-show. I'm on who's on Elias. You like Elias? Yeah. Do you walk with Elias? I certainly do. That piece of shit. <laughs> he's kind of got. He's kind of turned into a pretty good heel. Yeah, he's give him credit. Good gimmick. Good heel work too. I'm with you there. Elias over Apollo Cruz. Next, we got Neville versus Enzo Amore for the cruiserweight championship. This is an interesting match. I wanted to go on Enzo just because I want to see things checked up in the cruiserweight division, but I know he's going to end up winning it, but by shenanigans, in some ways. This is that's why I say this is an interesting match because they finally got Enzo Amore's star power over on two hundred five live. Now are they gonna? They, they're at this conundrum at this crossroads because they now have to decide: is Enzo's star power enough to give him the title? Because Neville is in every way other than on the microphone a better wrestler. Yes. So are they gonna forfeit that because of Enzo's name? Is that that important? To- if it means more money, yeah, to Vince. <laughs> uh, yeah shit i guess you're right so you say enzo i'm gonna stick with neville that's my uh my gut decision moving on down the list we have the miz versus the son of kurt angle jason jordan for the intercontinental championship what the hell what's gonna happen miz all the way yeah they need to preserve his his ongoing like reign as an ic champ to break a lot of his records that he's doing so far do I you th- do you really think Maurice is pregnant? Yeah, I don't see why she wouldn't. Do you think you you're going to use it in an angle you or something? shit? think it's kayfabe, just all kayfabery? Uh, I want to believe it, but if it's in kayfabe, well, I don't know what they're doing with it then. Well, if they are indeed pregnant, the Miz should hold on to the, be- to the belt at least until Survivor Series, because he's going to have to leave eventually to go be daddy. Moving on down the list. Moving on down the list. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt again in a who fucking cares match. Who do you have there? My choice, Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Balor. Do you just like him more? Just. Well, I guess, yeah, but I think he's a better in-ring performer than what Bray is. Yeah, 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 and he is. Man, I've never turned so sour on a guy as much as I have Bray Wyatt in recent months. Um, he he's just boring me. The closest he came to entertaining me was the last couple of weeks when he was in a feud with Goldust. I yeah, mean, that was that good. was pretty intriguing. But now he's fighting Finn Balor. So <laughs> Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins versus The Bar, Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Which way is this going to go in Don Pepsi's mind? They're most likely going to continue this feud up into Survivor Series, even maybe to WrestleMania, to be honest. So I would say the bar is going to win it back. Huh. I haven't really put that much thought into this, to be honest. I would probably give it to the bar also, because um, I think you're right. They're going to continue. Why end it now? Yeah. End it at one of the big pay-per-views like Survivor Series. Good insight. So Alexa Bliss versus Bailey versus Emma versus Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks. For the Raw Women's Championship. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. So, Alexa Bailey, Emma, Nia, Sasha. Who walks out the champ? She's going to retain. I don't agree. Mm. I think she's going to drop it to potentially Emma or Nia. Um, I think it might be Emma's turn. Really? Yep. You heard it here. Nikki James, It'll 2017. <laughs> what you say? Wait, It'll never that? happen. Don't you doubt me. <laughs> uh, moving on to the, uh, you know, top part of the card. John Cena versus the big dog, owner of the yard, believer of that, Roman Reigns. I want Big John to win. But. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I want him to fucking put him down. 
So you do you think John's gonna uh, win? Yeah, all the way. Uh, I'll be pretty pressed, but I think that's what's gonna happen. Roman Reigns winning, to be honest. I want John to win, but I feel like uh, Roman's gonna. That's exactly get where this I'm one. at. I think Roman Reigns is gonna win. Um, John's kind of hitting that uh, stage of his career where he's just putting over the younger guys. Yeah. So I think that's what we're gonna see in action tomorrow night. But here's hoping it's a hell of a match. I think they're gonna put on a good match. It'd be shitty watch. Roman Reigns has gotten a lot better in the ring. Just don't give him a microphone, and we'll be fine. Moving on to the main event. The reason I am there. The reason I am watching. Big baby Brock Lesnar versus big bad Braun Strowman for the Universal Championship. That's right. Not just the world, the universe. Fuck your world title, other promotions. <laughs> Top dog. Where you at? Money's on baby Braun. New face. Man, I want big fat baby Braun to win. Uh, I'm a huge Braun Strowman, Mark. Um, I have since the beginning, since he was in the White family. I thought he was going to be a future world champ. So, uh, yeah, I'm giving this to Braun. Um, do you think he can or will beat Brock clean? Yes, definitely. You think he's going to win clean? Just very clean. Finisher pin one two three. Not and that's. I, I feel like it's going to be a slugfest. No, no, no. Me, what? no. That's oh, not not what I mean. I mean just you know no shenanigans. No shenanigans. Off road. Okay. I I think so too. I think he can. However, I have a nagging feeling that Paul Heyman's going to play a role. He, like I've like I've said in the past, he always turns on his advocate. I mean, the people he's advocating for, uh, his clients, <laughs> as he says. Uh, so I don't know if Brock Lesnar is going to be any different. Brock or Braun Strowman is the next big thing, so maybe he's going to move on to that. So that's my dark horse prediction. Let's see. Uh, Anything else? Any other side notes you want to add in? Any, any little spice you want to throw in? I'm all out of spices, man. <laughs> He's all out of spice. Guys, I have been Nikki James. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick crossplay predictions podcast for WWE No Mercy. If you like what you're hearing, you can follow us over on Twitter at Crossplay Pod. You can also check us out over on Patreon at patreon.com slash crossplay entertainment. I have been the phenom Nikki James and I am the Pepsi Peps <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next time on Crossplay bye bye man